Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ekene. You remember me? The girl who sings at the coffee shop. Well, I also like to read on the playground. I have a story to share with you today. So, come and join me while we enjoy the story. And remember, subscribe to hear more of my stories. Once upon a time, in a small twinkle light village, there lived an old man named Mr. Kokoma, but the villagers fondly called him Mr. Koko. He was a kind-hearted soul, with eyes that twinkled with wisdom and love. Mr. Kokuma lived with his loving wife by the end of the village wood. Mr. Koko often gathered the village children around him and told them enchanting stories and sang his favorite nursery rhyme. This old man, he played one. He played knick knack on my tom with a knick knack paddy whack give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played two. He played knick knack on my shoe with a knick knack paddy whack give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played three. He played knick knack on my knee with a knick knack, paddy whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. They sang all day, and the children adored him, and they couldn't wait for their special time with the sweet old man. One sunny morning, as the birds chipped, and flowers bloomed. The children gathered in his cottage, eagerly awaiting Mr. Coco's arrival. But to their surprise, he was nowhere to be found. Worried, the children embarked on a journey to find their beloved storyteller. As they roamed through the village, they noticed a trail of colorful candy wrappers leading into the enchanted forest. Excitedly, the children followed the trail, their curiosity guiding them deeper into the woods. After a while, they stumbled upon a quaint little cottage made entirely of gingerbread and white candy roof. With hearts pounding with excitement, the children stepped inside the cottage to find yet another magical cottage. To their astonishment, they discovered Mr. Coco and his wife in the garden of the cottage baking delicious colorful candies. He turned and smiled at the children, his eyes twinkling brighter than ever. Oh, my sweet children, I'm glad you found me, exclaimed Mr. Coco. I have been busy preparing something special for all of you. The children gasped in amazement as the cottage transformed into a whimsical wonderland. The walls were adorned with lollipop paintings and the floors were made of marshmallows. Everywhere they looked, there were candies of all shapes and sizes. Mr. Coco led the children to a table overflowing with an array of sugary treats. He explained that he had been creating the most 
extraordinary candy ever known to humankind. Magical sweets that would grant wishes. Each child carefully picked a candy and made a wish as they savoured its delicious taste. Suddenly, the wishes started coming true. One child wished for a pony, and there it was, a magnificent pony with a rainbow-colored mane. Another child wished for a world without sadness, and laughter filled the air as all sadness magically vanished. They danced and played in the candy wonderland, their hearts filled with pure happiness. But Mr. Coco had one more surprise in store. He handed each child a piece of paper and colorful crayons and asked them to draw what they believed the perfect world would look like. As the children drew, their imagination soared, creating a tapestry of dreams and hope. When they finished, the drawings came to life, forming a magical mural that covered the cottage walls. It was a breathtaking sight, filled with laughter, love and harmony. As the day drew to a close, the children bid farewell to Mr. Coco, promising to treasure the memories they had created. They returned to their homes, hearts brimming with gratitude and a renewed sense of wonder. From that day forward, the children and the village held a special place in their hearts for Mr. Coco. They realized that love, kindness and imagination were the true magic that made the world a better place. And so, the old man's story was passed down through generations, reminding children of the power of dreams, the sweetness of life, and the joy that comes from hearts filled with love. The end. Thank you, friends, for listening. If you enjoyed the story, click the like button and subscribe to know when I'll read another nursery rhyme story for you.